Hey guys, this is Tracy in the library, and I'm talking to you today about a tool called Poplet. Um, it's been around for quite some time, um, has a lot of capabilities in the free version, so I just wanted to highlight some of the features um, of this tool for you to use. This is a mind mapping tool or graphic organizing tool, um, basically the same thing. Um, it has a um, easy to use interface and um, I find that it's appealing in the way it looks as well. So how do we begin? You can try it out by creating an account um, and signing up or I already have an account so I'm gonna log in with my school email and the password that I have created. Um, Poplet does require Adobe Flash Player so you're gonna wanna make sure that you do have that installed. Sorry, here. All right. So a couple things about the um, main page here. Um, your poplets, that you, as you create them, will be stored under this tab. And then there is a public poplet tab that if you click here, um, poplets will load in this area that are um, that people have already created and um, have made public. You do not have to make your poplet public if you do not want to. Um, for some reason, it's a little slow loading today. Um, but you can also see some examples over here as well and click on those to view um, as you like. The only thing that it doesn't have is that it doesn't have a searchable feature um, in their public poplets. So you can either have two options. You can have them listed as those that have been shared publicly most recently or those that maybe are the most popular uh, used public poplets and for whatever reason um, I think it's my Adobe Flash Player that's causing it to be slow to load here so I'm gonna go back to my poplets tab and I want us to make a new poplet and the first thing it's gonna ask me to do is name it I'm going to name it Tech Tuesday Sample. I can pick a color for my poplet, and this just means it's going to be the outline color um, of my poplet. I'm going to pick this one, and then I'm going to say make it so. All right, so to begin, we've got a blank screen here, and I just need to double click somewhere in the screen, and it opens um, a new pod or poplet. Um, as you would have it. And you'll see here that it's named um, with my name because I am the user. You can share Poplets um, with any other users that have a Poplet account and then they can work on them together and as a teacher if several students are collaborating on the same Poplet you can see who's done what work because the username of the people that created the sections will be listed on each little poplet that comes up. So what can I do with these poplets? I can, um, if I scroll over here, I can change the color of my poplet. Maybe I want each of my boxes to be blue and then another user might all be green and so on. I can um, type directly into the poplet and I can increase the size of my font or decrease the size of my font. I can make it left, center, or right justified. Um, and then, or I could actually draw on my poplet See there, you can use it as like a whiteboard there. Um, or I can add an image 
to my Poplet or a YouTube or Vimeo video. I don't think that Vimeo is unblocked for students here, so you're going to have to stick with their YouTube account videos. Um, but I can upload an image from my computer. And let's just say, um, let's just click this screenshot. I'm going to clear my drawing because it's over top of my um, image. All right, so I can drag and expand this little poplet win window or reshape it that way. Now you also see these little gray dots that are out here to the side. I can drag um, to link or to make a new poplet. And you can see how it works there. So let's talk about what it does. It, you can add images. Um, what else can we do? If I go back to the main poplet, I can add videos to poplets. Um, clicking here again, they are collaborative. And you can see how easy it is to click and draw. And then I can have the same features with each of these new poplets that I've created that I did with my original one. Okay. And then to share this poplet, I can click share. I can either add a collaborator, or I can make it public, or I can share with a grab a link to it or grab the embed code and actually embed the poplet onto my website. So lots of cool features here um, and a super easy tool to use. Um, graphic organizers are great for students to visually organize the information that they have. It could be used in a multiple of ways um, and I have a lot of those different ways for the different content areas on my Canvas um, module page. So if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to stop by the library or shoot me an email. I am always happy to help. Have a great day. Bye.